Wow, Florida, just rain all over everything. How original. Hmm, looks like I've got a cool effect with this haze here. What's up, weirdo? Shade Tree Surgeon here, and while Florida is deciding to do Florida things and rain all over our motorcycle parade, that's all right, because I've got plenty of beer and plenty of parts to polish on the chopper, so if Florida's gonna rain all over us, time for another episode of the Yamaha XS650 Chopper Build Series. So now that I got the rear wheel back, I assume I'll have that episode up before this one, I can actually start putting this bike back together and uh, if the rain does knock it off for a little while, maybe I'll even ride it today. But before I put it back together, I do have some stuff I need to get done. So on the list today is get this polished up. This is the plate for the rear drum and uh, it's in pretty good shape and it looks like probably from the factory it came sort of polished. So I'm hoping I can just hit that with mothers and it'll be all right. A little bit harder is going to be these triple trees. So. These fork clamps, triple trees, whatever you call them, these are gonna have to come off the bike and I really wanna, I wanna get rid of this. So I'm gonna try to hit that with my flap wheel and make that look a little smoother, a little nicer. So those are definitely gonna take a whole lot more work. These Z bars, even though a few of you guys like them, were really just for mock-up purposes. I have these rabbit ears, the riserless rabbit ears that are gonna be the final product, but they're stainless steel and they need to be polished as well. So I'm going for basically the final mock-up here. I've got some headlights for the bike too. I'm gonna to probably mount those if I can do all this stuff today. And essentially what I'm trying to get done today is the final mock-up of what the bike is going to look like before it gets torn back apart for paint. Well, on closer inspection, this does have some scratches and imperfections. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to use just mothers on it to get the finish I want. I am actually gonna to have to bust this thing down with sandpaper. And look who came to keep me company while I drive myself mad polishing stuff. My man, Carlos, all the way back from California. I mean, it ain't perfect. Like somebody who really knew how to polish. Yeah, no. This would be perfect. They'd like you, this would look like a fucking mirror, but it's still a lot better. So is it perfect? Absolutely not. But the level that I can achieve when it comes to polishing aluminum, at least I can get there a little faster now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would have got out of the park and smelled something. All right. Wrong. Well, that's enough polishing. It's time to actually, like I said before, make this look like a motorcycle again. So let's stick a wheel on it. It has been quite some time since this bike had any wheels at all. All right, we have a rear wheel on the bike. It's time to address the front end, so let's get into it. So what do you do, man? You just shoot everything that you're doing and then just edit it? Cut out all the bullshit? Dude, I, don't, I don't even know, dude. I just like figure it out when I get it. Sometimes I'll do all this shit and then like I'll have the video and I'll be like, this fucking sucks. I can't even, I ain't got no video. <laughs> yes. I'm not this thing, dang old video. It happens. I 
We have uh, multiple projects going on right now. We're working on the XS650. Carlos is here. Dylan is here. Savannah's somewhere inside. And Sean and Erica just showed up, even though they look very dark right now. Um, so they came not only to drink some beers, hang out, and have a good time, but to work on the CRF100 and actually get it running. All right, so the KX is leaking gas. The Peacock is bad. And it's also, or sorry, not the KX, the CRF, God damn it! It's <laughs> leaking gas. <laughs> the carb is getting jacked up. We have to assume that that's something in the tank, but since I put a Chinese carb for that I paid ten dollars for on the bike and it worked for a little while we figured might as well rebuild the actual card that was built in japan so now we get to see erica's very first time rebuilding a carburetor or not rebuilding just cleaning not rebuilding okay cleaning. please <laughs> no well it's the same concept but we were hoping that none of the seals are bad okay Everybody's working on motorcycles right now. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty it's fucking that, dope. Like, it's, it's pretty <laughs> awesome, actually. Eat. <laughs> Found out why it was getting held up. Uh, we'll never be able to see with the camera, but there's yeah. one little tiny piece of crud in there. So right. we're learning how clean carburetors need to be to actually work. Yeah. If you guys yeah, haven't seen uh, the, the videos heart. where Sean and Erica Heartland. are learning how to ride a motorcycle, they're yeah. actually pretty cool. So um, if you haven't seen them, you're probably pretty confused right now. But <laughs> <laughs> I've always figured that if you're going to ride a motorcycle, you might as well learn how to work on a motorcycle. Oh, it's got to be. So we're just like, I put a new Chinese carburetor on there. Yeah. Same little piece of dirt in the same exact spot. Same spot. Well, it was doing the same thing. So that makes yeah. sense. There's probably some crud in the tank. So Damn, they're Chinese taking the tank dirt. part. We're going to clean it out and hopefully this the mule will run again dude then you get the, the jack car back on the bike again yes. then you're set so safety third So I know sometimes when you're looking at this, it doesn't look like a huge difference, but I just want to go ahead and if we can focus here, show you that. And this is not perfect. I'm not saying that this is the best polished thing ever, but I think it looks a whole oh, hell of yeah. a lot better than that. And so I'll show you this one too when it's done being polished, but I don't know, man. You ask me, that's, that's looking better. But right now I'm tired, so I'm gonna drink a beer, take a break, and watch Sean and Erica finish up the Sierra. I got lost in polishing over here, and all of a sudden Erica and Sean say they got this yep. fucking bike back together. So Holy moly. I'll believe it when Just I hear like it run. Say that if it weren't for me, it wouldn't be running right now. Oh, yeah, no. He was instrumental. Just so you know, it's, I did everything here. <laughs> everything I did was off camera. All right, there's a big old can of gas right there. <laughs> See if it fires up. Uh, so they put it back together, but it's still leaking. So, as Sean just said, if only there was someone here. If only there was someone said, man, here who knew how to work on motorcycles. Who would it be? Gasket, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. They uh, they put a new gasket on the carburetor. Let's uh, cross our fingers it's not leaking. It doesn't look like I mean, if it leaks a little bit, better, whatever. <laughs> like With the amount it was leaking before, if it leaks a little bit, that's all right, I think. Yeah. No, not okay. Dill, what do you know? It shouldn't leak at all. All right. He doesn't know nothing. You don't first kick it, dude. It's gonna be bad. First kick, Sean. First fucking kick, dude. Oh, 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 oh,
All right, what I'm trying to do now is get rid of these things. So I'm gonna try to use a flap wheel to do it. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but there's only one way to find out. Here's what I'm fighting. So the problem with these things is once you start trying to take material off, at least the way I've been doing it, you leave big old gouges in. And these are, are real hard to get out. And there's only one way to do it, and that's by hand. I'll tell you, it's good to have a good friends, because good friends help you polish aluminum, which is very satisfying. When it's done. <laughs> yeah, it can be a thankless <laughs> job. <laughs> Doesn't seem possible. Oh my lord, it's got a front end on it. Look at that shit right there, dude. <laughs> that looks like a bike, all right. I've only had some wheels put on it. Oh, look. Oh, oh. <laughs> Here we go. Well, it's the next day. <laughs> I don't really know what I filmed yesterday because by the end of the day and all that polishing, all those beers, I was uh, pretty messed up and I don't remember a whole lot of what happened, but I guess I'll see you when I get in the editing bay. Unfortunately, I woke up this morning and I'm feeling pretty under the weather. Oh, I've got a sore throat, my nose is running, but I'm not gonna let that stop me from working on the bike. I just might be a little lower energy. So let's jump right into it. Basically what we have to do now is get Get back into here. I got the bike kind of together yesterday. Um, if you were following me on Instagram, I was posting some photos of it. So I got the longer forks on it. I got the triple trees polished. I got the handlebars mocked up, but I was gonna mount the headlights. But what I found out is that this piece right here, if you look at that, this has got to go. It's gotta be ground off because my the mount I have for the headlights attaches to these bolts and it won't fit in there with that. So the front end's gotta come back off, and that's gotta get ground down. So let's get into it. Well, since I got everything apart anyway, I figure now is as good a time as any to go ahead and polish these handlebars. These are stainless steel, and I've never polished stainless steel before, but I gotta imagine it's pretty similar to polishing aluminum. So hopefully since these are already pretty smooth, this won't take me very long. Well guys, it is not super often that I have to admit defeat, but I'm afraid I'm gonna have to when it comes to polishing these handlebars. I don't know if polishing stainless steel is somehow different than polishing aluminum. I have to assume it's because aluminum is a much softer metal than stainless steel is. 
I don't know, maybe you guys can give me a little bit of advice in the comment section, but basically when I got this down to where I would normally have aluminum looking perfect, there was still all these little micro scratches in it. I'm not really sure if they're showing up super great on camera, but I think I'm probably gonna have to get something on this that's uh, actually powered, like a belt sander or something like that. Again, let me know in the comments. But for now anyway, I'm gonna stop worrying about getting these to a show finish and start putting the bike together because I don't want to waste all my time beating my head against the wall with these bars. I've still got a whole bike to make work. All right, one of the reasons I had to take this whole front end apart again is because I had to grind off that piece in order to fit this on, which is my headlight bracket. So let's get that installed and we can finally see what this thing looks like with some eyes. And in the spirit of keeping things shiny, I got this nice new stock style brake caliper from Drag Specialties. It's exactly the same as the old one, except it's chrome. That looks pretty damn good on there if you ask me. I know a lot of people would say I should have gone with Performance Machine, but uh, for $500, I really just couldn't afford it. All right, let's give this bike a little bit of personality. I will tell you after several very frustrating moments. It feels pretty good to put headlights on this thing finally, even if they aren't hooked up to anything. All right, I do actually have more parts to put on this thing for the final mock-up, including this very, very nice custom tech front uh, master cylinder, but I, I don't really want to put it on right now because I can't even ride the bike right now because I've got some problems with the spacers that I'll show you guys later. And I'm going to have to take it down to my buddy Brian at the Ride Factory, who is a Harley Davidson expert, and he'll be able to help me out with that since it is a Harley front end. But uh, I just got to get it off the lift. I still got a little bit of daylight left to take a picture. It's the 4th of freaking July, and I have just had such a frustrating time beating my head against the wall with so many different things. I just, I got to get this bike off the lift and see what it looks like sitting in the street. Basically, the same as it will look once it's completely painted. Happy 4th of July. There she sits. Yeah, there's a whole, whole lot more stuff that needs to be done. A whole lot more. You know, as a, a lot of people pointed out, I am going to need a longer kickstand. That's for sure. Um, on top of that, obviously, I need to make the brake cable that's going to reach all the way from up here all the way down to there. I need to wire the whole thing. Uh, I need to create some sort of brake switch because I'm not going to have a banjo bolt on the front. It's going to be the rear brake that activates the brake light. And speaking of which, I need a <laughs> license plate holder and a brake light back here on top of that other stuff. But I will tell you, seeing it like this, seeing it like this with headlights and the front end that's supposed to be on it, this lets me know. This lets me know I'm getting close, man. I'm getting real, real close. And it feels pretty good.